former law enforcement officer against three federal officers in El Paso after he was put in a chokehold was rejected by the Supreme Court. Now, this surveillance video has no sound, but you can see an officer speaking to Jose Oliva, and then you can see three officers take him down to the ground. He tells us he ended up in a chokehold and needed surgery on his shoulder and suffered injuries to his eardrum, hand, and throat. Both Oliva's lawyer and a lawyer representing one of the officers say the case was rejected due to laws in place. No court will ever look at what happened to Jose and say, yes, this did violate your constitutional rights or no, it didn't. And no court will ever decide the facts that apply to the case. The case against the individual agents, that is what qualified immunity protects. And it allows federal employees, especially in law enforcement, to be, to be protected when they are acting in their official capacity. Oliva says he uh, or he has filed a lawsuit against the federal government pending. He's saying he will not stop fighting. You at 10, KTSM 9 News learns more details about.